Hi, I'm Nurse Barb, and today I want to talk about something that a lot of people experience, but they may not feel comfortable talking about with friends, family members, or even their healthcare provider, and that's anxiety and panic attacks. These are very, very common. Now, I'm not a psychiatrist or a therapist, but as a women's health nurse practitioner, over the years, many of my patients have felt comfortable enough to share with me some of their emotional challenges, including panic attacks and a lot of anxiety. So I've taken more courses and I've learned more about what causes anxiety and what people might choose to do when they talk to a licensed, trained healthcare provider about their different options. So let me tell you what's going on inside your body when you feel anxious. First of all, it's a normal and natural human emotion, right? Fear is what keeps us alive. It's what causes us to have an instantaneous reaction when somebody cuts us off in traffic, right? Your heart starts to race and you have better reaction time. It's what happens when you get a bad email or you, you hear from somebody you don't really want to talk about. Oftentimes, you know this as a fight, flight, or freeze reaction. So when we're fleeing, our body is gearing up, our heart rate increases, our breathing increases, our sweat glands start to activate so that we can flee the danger. And, and back in caveman days, that would be to flee a saber-toothed tiger. So it made sense. But now we don't have saber-toothed tigers around, but we still have the same reaction. And sometimes it can get out of control. But I want to reassure you that not everybody has the same reaction to stress. Some people get headaches. Some people find that their blood pressure spikes. Other people find that they have diarrhea. When I was a pediatric ICU nurse at Stanford and I saw my assignment, I would sweat through my 12-hour deodorant in about five minutes because it was so stressful. All of this happens because our bodies release neurotransmitters like adrenaline, and that causes our heart to race. And it can take between 30 and 90 minutes for our body to dissipate that adrenaline. But in the meantime, we're having a panic attack. We can't think straight, our heart's racing, and sometimes we feel like we're going to have a heart attack, and that makes it even worse. Many of my patients have two, three, four panic attacks every single day. Imagine how difficult that is to get any work done, to study, and um, to have relationships when anything can trigger that fight, flight, or freeze reaction. So what can you do? First of all, be kind to yourself. You didn't choose how your body would respond to stress. You didn't choose what would happen, whether you'd have high blood pressure, sweating, or diarrhea. If you're having a panic attack, the first thing to do is try to recognize it and stop and try to breathe very, very slowly. Take deep breaths in for count of five like this, and then blow it out for a count of five. That will help break the cycle of the panic attack. Sometimes you're going to have to do this two, three, four, five times. If you're noticing that you're having more and more anxiety and it's interfering with sleep, then it's really important to get up out of bed, write down whatever it is that's bothering you, and tell yourself, I will deal with this tomorrow morning. I will deal with this tomorrow morning. Oftentimes that's all you need to fall back asleep because our mind is racing, right? We're having the same thought over and over so we don't forget. If you're finding that your anxiety or if you're having panic attacks is interfering with your ability to live your life, then you may want to start thinking about doing some mindfulness or meditation regularly. Doing these things every day does not involve medication. It does not involve seeing a healthcare provider. You can do this from the privacy of your own home. There's a lot of apps out there that can help. You might also consider doing guided meditation. That means that someone is talking very, very slowly and you're listening and it takes your mind off what's worrying you. You might also consider talking to a healthcare provider and um, getting some tools that you can use to disrupt that anxiety attack. 
Oftentimes therapists use something called cognitive behavioral therapy, and it helps change how we think about our thoughts. And this is a very, very effective way um, for people to feel better who have anxiety. And sometimes you may decide to use medication. Medications are known as antidepressants, but they also work on anxiety. They're known as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. There's also selective serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors. It's a mouthful, I know, but it's SSRIs and SNRIs. What do these do? They don't change your personality. They don't make you sleepy. What they do is they keep serotonin in your brain a little bit longer. And serotonin is a natural feel-good hormone that our bodies normally and naturally make, but some of us metabolize it really, really quickly. So there's not enough around to tamp down or suppress those anxious feelings. By using an SSRI or SNRI, you can reduce some of those, um, some of the effects of those neurotransmitters that are causing your heart to race. The other thing I tell my patients is, you don't have to stay on those medications forever. You can start using those medications while you're getting therapy. So you can learn some of the tools that will help you um, not have so many panic attacks or learn how to manage them better. So I have many patients who decide to use medications for six or nine months while they're getting therapy and they're learning how to deal with these anxious feelings and then they go off. So please think about ways that you might be able to manage this on your own. And rest assured, you're not alone. Many people are struggling with these feelings. You can um, go to my blog, nursebarb.com, for more information. And please do look for a licensed healthcare provider who can help you determine what's best for you as you manage these normal and natural feelings that have gotten a little bit out of control. Take care, be well, and let me know how it goes.